Oh, that is Need to Breathe by and by here on V180. You're with Leah and we've got Grace Ooh. who has stormed the studio. Hello. And uh, she's come demanding. Come on. That we read the Taking uh, prisoners. Treasury Project verse of the week. No prisoners. <laughs> now, I'm going to read it for you. So okay. this week's verse comes from the incredible Matthew 28, 18, Ooh. which of course reads, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. There's Matthew 28, verse 18. Now I'm going to throw Grace under the bus in uh, just a little while. Get, get us a little bit of context around mm. that verse, you should say. Because uh, I, that's, I, that's, that's what I live for. It's mm-hmm. what I do. I throw grace under, under buses. The bus. under but the bus. it also is quite insightful to have some uh, context around the verses that we're trying to remember. And, of course, if you want to jump on board the uh, Treasury Project, you most certainly can. You can head on over to treasuryproject.org.au or if you get the V180 devotional, just rip out that middle page, flip it over, and there they are. Boom, Ripping done. out pages. Love Only it. Only time it's allowed. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. But... Uh, Okay, I've given Grace a little head start here, so we're going to come back in just a few moments, get a, uh, a rundown on Matthew 28. But for now, this is built by Titan and Skyborn. Light on. This is V180. Oh, that's Becca Shea. Freedom is my anthem here on V180. You're with Leah and Grace, the girls upstairs, oh. although we are missing one. Oh. Our weary traveller has gone. Farewell. Farewell. Poor Gwenny. She's uh, she's in Perth at the moment doing doing all the hard merch lady stuff. I don't know what Struggle exactly street. she's doing, but, you know, she's not here. But we got Grace. And hey. um, and now is the time of the show where I get to throw my good <gasps> friend Grace here under the bus. So we're looking at the verse of the week, the Treasury yes. Project verse of the week, which is Matthew 28, verse 18, mm-hmm. which we read it before, but I'll read it again. Thank it says, you. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and and on earth has been given to me. That is Matthew 28, 18. Grace, lay it on us. Oh, welcome to the final three verses of Matthew's gospel, of course. The gospel that was written by the tax collector. Very interesting gospel. Um, mm. uh, is it my favorite? No. I think I like John more. Mark yeah. is really fast. Mm. Luke is written for like a Gentile audience. Yeah, yeah. And Matthew's kind of for like the Jews that are believing that Jesus is the Messiah. I like that though. It's a bit for everybody. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's got a bit of a spread. Yeah. So Matthew 28, 18, I'm going to read this whole section because it's just epic. Nice. Now the 11 disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came to th- and said to them, all authority in heaven and on, on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Awesome. Wow. Wow. Very nice. So all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. And some people like to say that Jesus isn't God. (laughs) Oh, no. How can you doubt? Oh, man. Man. So getting into a bit of Trinitarian apologetics here, (laughs) which is a fancy way of saying we believe the Trinity, like all Christians have for the last 2,000 years. As we should, mind you. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the main sections that people point to. All authority, including the authority of God, is Christ's. Amen. Jesus is God. And so he has all authority and in heaven and on earth. And so what does he do with his command? He commands his disciples to make disciples of all nations, mm. going to every single nation, baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit. Love it. And I don't know. My, I guess my challenge for today is, are you doing that? Are you doing that? Are you obeying Christ's final command of Matthew? Mm, so good. So good. Definitely something to ponder on as we get back into it now. You're on V180. Live and different here with V180. Peabod, better than nostalgia. I tell you what, I've been feeling that song yeah. lately. I've been playing it a lot. I will, I do like the way it ends. It's kind of like a woo. And then boom, sharp yeah, ending. Boom, it's done. a nice way to know that the song is over. Otherwise, yeah. how else would you know, right? Fair. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. But we've been having all kinds of mad discussions upstairs over the last week. And uh, one big one that's sort of come up, it's a little bit controversial. Mm. A little bit controversial. So some tea time. Yeah. Um, I've been having an international student stay with um, my husband and I yeah. at our house. And mm. so she's staying for a little while. Um, but in her English classes, because she's, she's at an English language school, yeah. they have like an ethics class every day. And so they go through like different 
ethical issues and she came to me and she was like oh what's your thoughts on like abortion yeah and like if the baby's disabled and I was like well like then that's it's just your life okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah like in a sense the question more so should be what makes a human life valuable and as Christians we believe it's because God um we're made in the image of God absolutely so every human regardless of whatever attributes they have mm -hmm are innately valuable because they're made in the image of God. Yeah. And that includes people who are barely formed mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit deformed. Yeah. And so, because her thoughts were, oh, like, I I don't support abortion, mm -hmm. but in cases of, you know, where it's non-consensual for the mother yep. um, or um, like, disability, yep. she's like, yep. yeah, I think Extremes it would be better. like that. Yeah. Okay. And so it was that wrestle there. And then someone also brought up that apparently Billy Graham also had a very similar view, oh. which was super interesting. Oh. Yeah. So um, that's been an interesting wrestle because it's like, oh, well, yeah, Christian leaders don't want to talk too bad of them, no. especially now that he's passed. Fantastic man. Absolutely. Did heaps of great things. But that wrestle of, well, why is a human life valuable? Yeah. Why, why is abortion wrong? Mm. Why... Why is murder wrong? Why are mm. these certain things that we know as humans is innately wrong within us? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why is it wrong? Well, because God says it's wrong. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And, and he's written the law in our hearts. Absolutely. And I, I, I mean, putting it straight down to it, he clearly tells us it, yeah. right back in the Ten Commandments, yeah. thou shalt not murder. Murder. And it's like, at what, at what point do we have the right to, to, to say where life begins? Yes. Clearly, and, and, and even then, there's plenty, so many, ver there's verses on verses yeah. that talk about that he knew us before we were formed. Yeah, yeah. And therefore, that in itself should be enough. Yes, right, 100%. And it's crazy to have that conversation, and I've had it many times, yeah. many, many times with, like, friends of mine that, yeah. have, that have been very much, you know, pro-life, yeah. but also partly pro-choice. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, how can you be there? How, how does that not cancel it's cancel itself out yes. because I don't, I don't know I can't I can't wrap it's, my head it's around a, it. It's a middle ground that people like to be in. Yeah, but it's not logically consistent. No, because if a human life is innately valuable, mm. that goes down to the point of conception. Yeah. That's when the human life begins. Absolutely. We know that scientifically. Yes, and so it's a thing of like, well, a human is a human, no yeah. matter how small. Yeah, exactly. And so you need to be consistent there. I totally empathize with people in that situation who struggle with health issues yeah. and who have been put in that circumstance, mm. not of their own will. No. But at the same time, like yeah. it's still a human life, you know? Yeah. What what right do we have yes. to end someone else's life yes. just because they haven't been born yet? Yes. Yeah. It's still their life. Yeah. It's still their potential yeah. that's being snuffed out before it's time. We don't know what God has planned for them. Yeah. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Yep. Life begins at conception. Yeah. You don't end it because that sucks. Yeah. And Amen. Very, very wrong. There you but go. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> right. There you go. Moving on now, we've got uh, Joshua, Micah and Heights coming up next on V180. Oh, that's Heritage Edge to hear on V180. Brand new music from them. You're with Leah and Grace. And uh, Grace, I know you're, oh. you're, you are the social media officer. You're the I social media be. lady. Yep. That That's makes me. it all happen here at V180 and through Vision as well. And uh, there's been a little bit of a, a meme situation mm, going on over this the week. last week. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Enlighten us. Tell us what's up. Oh, okay. So our favorite boy, Pipes, John Piper. Oh, yeah. I quote, I, I, he, he was my quote of the day. <gasps> Today? <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at him go. Oh, that's great. Um, He's gotten in a little bit of uh, controversy. Not like anything like super serious, but a good bit of lighthearted banter. Oh, yeah? Um, Because he did a post on the first. Um, I think it's here. Yes. Can we reassess whether Sunday coffee sipping in the sanctuary fits? And he quotes Hebrews 12, 28, mm -hmm. let us offer to God acceptable worship with reverence and awe. So pretty much is drinking your coffee or having little snacks during the church service actually reverent to God? <sighs> <laughs> and the memes, the memes coming out of it have been impeccable. Oh, my so gosh. 
I posted one the other day on the V180 page and it was just like, <laughs> oh, it's so good. But yeah. I mean, like, but I, I, could, I can see his point though. I yes. mean, like, pe- like memes aside, I can see his point. Yeah. You know, and like I, I look at it from the perspective of, you know, not not even necessarily um, like just in, in, in a worship situation, yeah. in your own yeah. church. Sure, we're meant to be focusing on God. Yeah. Absolutely. But like in, in, in any sort of role where you're in a public speaking position perhaps yeah. if i look down and i see someone sipping away snacking or away. snacking away or rustling around a bag of chips or whatever yeah i mean hey it can be off-putting yes it's a little bit rude true and three i would probably be a little bit jealous because i want, <laughs> I want, a, the snack, I want too. a snack too but you know you can't because they're working yeah mm. no true and the thing is i totally a part of me like totally agrees with him yeah yeah Yes, worship is to be reverent, focused <laughs> on God, hundred percent. But at the same time, are you a, sn- are you a church I'm, snacker? I'm a church snacker. Grace, I know you're a church snacker. Sometimes I have frozen mangoes. Oh no, I have different, little different fruits, different smoothies. I just have to. Okay, run ha- out. hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I I, I can kind of get on board because at least you at least you're being healthy in it. <laughs> thank you. Thank but you. tell me, you're not blending your smoothies in the church? No, no. <laughs> Just in the background. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I was doing it during the song. I'm pregnant. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any excuse these days. Oh, man. Terrible. No, so I totally agree with him, but I am also guilty of eating. Food. <laughs> like, I just got to I gotta run out of the house. I don't know why. It's always a mm. Sunday. It's the end of the rush. And I, and I try to eat it in the car. So mm-hmm. I try to eat it. Before church. It's hard. But also our church services are really long. Like, they're two hours. And like you get hungry. Yeah. They don't have, like, an interlude. No, there's no, like, break. No. There's no greet your neighbor where I can sneak out and grab a snack. No. Like, and sometimes, ugh. sometimes, sometimes the bottle of water just doesn't quite cut it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. Look, I've, I, I've, I, I was fully on his side, too. Yeah. Absolutely. I yes. was advocating for him. Yeah. I went hard. Yeah. You know, fighting for pipey boy. Yes. But I have, I have been a, a, I have on occasion brought a coffee. Into <gasps> the surface. Leah, and have you even saved? <laughs> Stop it, you and your smoothies, <laughs> please. No, but like you know, sometimes, sometimes a coffee just fills you up a little bit more yes. than, and especially if it's like you know, if it's a ten ten thirty service yeah, or whatever, and you're me. getting towards yep. midday, yeah, you're hungry, yep. You're hungry. I get hungry. You know, yeah. I'm doing keto, so I'm, you know, sometimes if I'm hungry, Special I'm like ravenous, oh. you know, but I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. Sometimes you just got to like push through. Yep. Push Amen. Through. Just call it like prayer and fasting. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm going to eat more food before I go into church. <laughs> just snack beforehand. Just like Thank you, pipe scoff, scoff it on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buffet in the car. That's it. That's oh. it. Oh, man. No, but that's funny. That's funny. And I'm loving those memes. They're great. Oh, so good. So Thank good. you, John Piper, for convicting us before <laughs> church this week. <laughs> so good. All right. This is V180. Ah, uh, that is new music here on V180. Lecrae and uh, Scooty Wop added up. That is what, what it is. is I know that? I sound so white what? saying it that way. But look, I tried. I tried. <laughs> Embrace it. I, it. It is what it is. Okay. Hey. Look, you're with Leah and Grace. We're the girls upstairs Daddy. joining you for your Monday. And uh, we've been talking all things about healthy doses of Christian mm, conviction today. Mm. And uh, you know, what better way to start the week? Hey, amen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I said, and, <laughs> and uh, you shared with me a story. Oh, bro. Last week. And I know we, we were scheduling to talk about it today because it's just hilarious. It's hilarious. Okay. First of all, I have totally, total empathy for the parent in this situation. Mm-hmm. It's probably really distressing. Um, but because it's unusually switched, it's a little bit hilarious. Yes. Um, a little bit funny. I shouldn't say hilarious. It's a very like serious situation. It is a serious. very worried. She's concerned for her child. But we've got a post from Reddit, um, from the atheism subreddit. <laughs> and the title is, my daughter came out to me as a Jesus believer, <laughs> is attending a young life group at her college and is getting baptized next week. I feel like a failure and am also terrified for her, but I don't know what to do shy of ordering her not to, which surely won't work. She feels like she's failed her? 
She feels like she's failed. Oh, her. honey, no. Oh, bless her. No, bless she did her. well. <laughs> she did well. Oh. Okay, I'll read this out. I'll read this out. Um, so I was still theist when they were born. They did um, CCD, which is like a Catholic um, kids thing, for a while, and several reasons led to my atheism and their being pulled out. My son is 22 now and an atheist, still pretty anti-religion and just a plain, yeah, it's obviously nonsense way. I've never, quote unquote, taught them atheism. Apparently, my daughter never really stopped believing, but it's ramped up lately. She's away at school and is now in young life. Um, Her Instagram post hinted at some things and I texted my son to see if he knew how it evolved. Apparently, he basically messaged her and was like, dad is concerned. Lol. Well, she came to me today and came out fully. She tried to play it off. It's non-denominational, etc., but then said it's really become a focal point and that she's getting <laughs> baptized. All I could do was reassure her that I didn't think less of her and that my concern was simply her well-being and safety, and that would be the case even if her religious belief didn't exist. But I'm really scared. Young life is a cult, and she's going to make a decision that can't be undone, <laughs> and I can't think of anything to say to her that won't sound like an edict, which will only push her farther in. So I sit here scared, hoping it passes, and trying to think of anything that may happen that may cause me to believe may cause me to have to take some kind of stand Ah. wow wow i mean i lost it when it was like uh, i will still love you regardless kind of no i know (laughs) trudy like 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 like, like, like she's got some like some life-altering addiction or something like that (laughs) oh my gosh like the way that she's written it is like it's like a coming out story uh, but like instead of being gay she's christian (laughs) I'm wheezing. <laughs> oh, I don't know how to. I don't, I don't. Oh, I need a minute. I need a minute. I need okay, a minute. We'll All get right, back to this. We're, we're, yes, we'll go. Go. We've got a couple of songs to play, and we'll come back, and we will discuss this a little bit further. <sighs> You're on V one eighty. That is Chris Llewellyn with Honest here on V one eighty. You're with yep. Leah and Grace. One half of the girls upstairs. Hello. And uh, we've embarked on a bit of an interesting discussion today. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, about oh. one that's, I don't know, it's funny because it's been flipped. Yes. 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 That's, I think that's the humour of it. It's like um, something that isn't normally like that that is like that. So pretty much, if you didn't hear us last break, we've been talking about a Reddit post um, in the atheism subreddit where a mum is lamenting that her daughter has come out to her now as a Christian. Mm. And so what to do? She's asking all the atheists, what do I do? Yes. Now that my daughter is a Christian. And she's hoping it's some kind of phase, but yep. she still loves her. Yep. Because yep. she's her daughter, but yep. she's hoping it just sort of moves on or... Yep. She, you know, calling her husband and her oh. other son because they're worried about her and la, la, la. Yeah. And it's, I don't know, it's it's interesting seeing it from the other end. Yes. yes yeah. Very interesting. And I totally understand the mum's concern. Oh, um, yeah. Like, looking from the comments, it sounds like she hasn't had a great upbringing in the church yeah. at all. Yeah. So I can totally understand that for you. But at the same time, it's like, this is something that your daughter, who is an adult, yes, has willingly entered into and looked into and is going through and yeah so and she and, it, and she's obviously found peace she's willing to be baptized yes and um you know she's 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 found peace in in um knowing who she is in christ and yeah. that's beautiful yeah um you know so like on one hand as you said yes can absolutely understand the the, the mom's concerns who yeah. has obviously had some kind of um tricky bad background or yeah. has had some bad experiences either with the church or with faith or with whatever we don't know her backstory yeah but you know it, and i don't know i mean it's it's kind of a tricky one for me because I, I grew up in the church yes i grew up christian parents yeah so i never really fully understood that part of that that kind of having that kind of experience yeah growing up with an like uh, an, an, a non-believing family yeah and like my heart bleeds for like the daughter as well yeah you know can like That's how a scary thing how scary would that have been knowing how against yeah. That um, her her parents would be of of her newfound faith. Yeah, that would have been so scary. Yeah. Aww. What's interesting, I think, is really interesting is all the comments mm. um, from the atheists, um, kind of just giving advice on what to do to like get her out of this phase. Yes. Um, of course, it's like definitely don't forbid it because then they'll feel um, persecuted. But oh. a lot of it is um, simple challenges to the faith that I think every Christian needs to be ready for. Right. So stuff like, okay, um, you're like, you're in the little 
life group, stuff like that, mm-hmm. ask them how do ask her how do they treat kids that are o- openly gay? Mm. Like, what's that going to be like? Um, like the cla- yeah, that whole classic challenge of oh, well, how do you treat people who are gay or transgender? Yeah, that's a common one that um, people will try to use against your faith. Absolutely, um, you know. A lot of them are just reassuring her that it's probably just a phase. Yeah. And that really speaks to the need of like finding a good church community that is solid, biblical, um, and getting good Christian friends that will consistently call you out in your faith and that you can walk life together. Like Christianity is not a life to be lived alone (laughs) per se. And so my advice to this girl is keep going, be honest. You know, be kind to your family. Your faith will show through your actions most strongly. Mm. Um, find a good church, get into a good church, and just be prepared for the challenges that are coming ahead. That's right. Absolutely. Get into the word and just surround yeah. yourself with people that, that love that love God and are able to keep you accountable yeah. um, a, as well. And, yeah, surrounding yeah. yourself in a good, you know, faith-filled community yeah. that uh, yeah, can do those things is absolutely vital to a- any Christian in their walk. And and there's no doubt that it would be so hard yes. ha- having a family that, yeah. that doesn't quite see what you see. Yeah. That would be so tricky. And so my heart goes out. And I'll be keeping her in my prayers, that's for sure. Yes, we'll be praying for you, homie. Absolutely. Um, yeah, all the best. Mm. I'm looking forward to seeing what God does in your family. Yes, absolutely. And maybe if you if you're in a situation like that yourself, know mm. that you're not alone. Yeah, absolutely, you're not alone. And um, in, we're always here to chat as well. Flick us a message on uh, on the socials. Grace is the one that answers those messages. Hello, she'll she'll, she'll hype you up no matter what you need. Key. Um, so what 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 are our socials? V180 official. Yeah, V180 official or just V180. Pretty much you can find us there. Anywhere we go. All right. All right. Well, let's get back into it now. we got Hannah, honey, love you, need you. Coming up next on V180. Oh, that's a live city and quasi pro with free brand new music here on V180. Yeah, yeah. You're with Leah and Grace. And now uh, that's about it for us. Oh. That went by so fast. It may be goodbye for now, but it is not goodbye forever. So do mm-hmm. not worry. We've got plenty more coming up tomorrow. <gasps> Very exciting. Ooh. Very exciting. What do we have coming up? We have, well, well, obviously I'll be back. You'll be back. Yeah, so yeah. That's always something to look forward to. But we've also got... A very exclusive interview. Oh. Very exclusive interview with uh, with none other than Susina. <gasps> no way. I know. Actually, it's actually so good. I mean, you were there. Yeah, no, true, you were there. Right? I mean, look, we 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 uh, we managed to catch up with Susina last week, mm-hmm. so we're going to play that one out for you guys tomorrow. And so be there or be square or catch it on any of the podcasts <laughs> wherever you listen to them. But until then, stay safe, stay awesome, and of course. Leave it different, but let's leave you now with uh, some good, some good times, some good music consumed by fire. Goodbye, all me. Until tomorrow. Okay, bye, guys. Bye. Vision One Eighty. Live different. Different.